the question is why substituted alkenes are more stable by the word substituent or substituted i mean that the number of alkyl substituent present in an alkene here you can see uh, i have taken two examples the first one is of one propene and the second one is ethylene so in one propene we can see that there is one uh, methyl substituent but in case of ethylene there is no substituent there is no alkyl substituent now we, have, we will try to compare the stability of this uh, two alkene and we will also explain that why one is more stable than the other so if we compare the heat of hydrogenation of these two uh, two alkene we can find that one propene is much more stable compared to that of ethylene but why is it so now if we check the structure of these two alkene we can see that there is only one difference between them in one propene we have this methyl group and in ethylene we do not have such methyl groups only pro hydrogens are connected to the to the to these two carbon atoms now now if i draw the structure of one propene and the hybridized orbital the 3 sp3 hybridized orbital here one here at this moment suppose this is the ch bond this is the bond below the plane this one is above the plane here we have a hydrogen here we have another hydrogen here is another hydrogen now now if we consider the p orbitals here and the sp3 hybridized orbital here we can see that one of this sp3 hybridized orbital is actually uh, in the same plane of these two p orbitals so this uh, sp3 hybridized hydrogen the ch bond can form a kind of conjugation with, with this pi orbital and this is called hyperconjugation and if i draw the conjugation or the resonance structure it will look like this so c 2 h here and this h will now have the positive charge and at this end there will be a negative charge so due to this resonance kind of resonance uh, this alkene which is one propene is much more stable compared to that of ethylene but in case of ethylene uh, there is no ch3 group so we cannot expect this kind of uh, conjugation here but here we have the ch3 group and there are three ch bonds so three different kind of conjugation or resonance structure is possible here so if this bond single bond rotates this hydrogen the hydrogen which is now below the plane will go up and it can again form a conjugation with the double bond here that means for three hydrogen there could be three possible conjugations or hyperconjugations that means three different resonance structures which makes this alkene one propene much more stable than of than, than that of ethylene 